and welcome back to the channel and in this video uh, we are going to look at the entire soil composition and the ingredients that I used in order to try and make this plant this is a night blooming jasmine get to get it to revive again it's not really revived a whole lot even after giving it a whole lot of resting time so I'm going to try and jump start it okay and for that I will be using say about 50% of garden soil, about 10% of vermicompost and I will also be using about 40% of mulch because these guys need a whole lot of water but again mulch is also going to prevent the roots from getting any type of fungal infection. So these guys go through a whole lot of root rot problem okay and they also like a lot of water. So to prevent the root rot and also to retain water mulch is very very essential in this case. And seaweed fertilizer, a few granules I will be sprinkling into the soil just so it turns out in like a slow release fertilizer. Do not make it into a powder, don't do that. Don't use um, you know diluted water all into the soil, don't. But we are also going to use a little bit of seaweed diluted water right near the roots of the plant. Just two granules in half a cup of water. Okay, dilute that. Keep it ready for when we go over to the potting. Okay, and the pot has a whole lot of drainage holes. Okay, the pot has a whole lot of drainage holes, and I've covered the holes with a, a piece of sack cloth. It's a plastic sack cloth, but it's very porous. So, in time, the plant's roots will be able to come out of that through the holes of the pot and outside, which is what these plants like. And uh, also, the excess water is going to drain out. Also, the water that needs to stay will stay. So that is what you should be using. You can also uh, substitute that with a jute cloth. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Now, let me just fill up at least less than one third from the bottom of the pot with the soil mix. And I will show you the rest of the video. The pot is ready. As you can see, the seaweed granules also. All right. So now let us just place the plant in. Okay. Okay. As you can see, the root ball is out. This is a different technique that I am using for these plants, especially the ones that are grafted in very clay-like soil. This is really hard and like a clay type of a soil, okay? And the root ball needs to be a little bit up and out from the surrounding new soil because the new soil is a little different from this one. So we want, don't want to disturb the root ball. Also, this is so hard and different from this one that watering just the surrounding soil might not be able to completely hydrate the root ball. Okay, so water a little bit over here and also over here. Okay, and um, this will help the roots to slowly come out of that without getting a lot of shock into the surrounding soil because suddenly if it gets a whole lot of boost because this soil is well fertilized and a better soil than this one, then the plant might go into a shock if it suddenly goes through a sudden you know, shock type of a thing. So let's not give it a shock. All right. Now I will just be wetting because this plant has not really done really well. As you can see, there are yellowing of leaves and I have not also spot a whole lot of new growth during the waiting stage. So what I'm going to do is, um, so I will just be putting two granules mixed with half a cup of water of seaweed right onto this clay ball just to get it jump started. Okay, and we are going to also water the surrounding soil just so the soil stays a little bit moist. And we are going to keep it in a partially shaded area. Don't want too much of sun falling onto this at the moment. After a day or so, we will be shifting it to the balcony. Okay, and that is all about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Okay, bye for now.